the fluid security situation in our region, it is imperative that the armed forces of the Philippines, and of course the Navy, is substantially equipped, trained, and always on alert to respond to any and all exigencies that may confront our nation. We will not stop with just this exercise. This will not be the last of its kind. I urge the entire rank of the Philippine Navy to keep up the good work, continually guided by the national interest and the democratic ideals of the Republic of the Philippines. We have a lot more to do, and the rest of our compatriots are counting on us to keep the defense of the nation. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga at mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Thank you, Mr. President. our first uh, anti-air missile uh, capability and previously we did not have this uh, type of weapon but uh, slowly because of our modernization program we are acquiring this uh, cutting-edge technology at par with uh, the other navies uh, in the world. Ang mga missile system na ito ay nakakabit sa ating mga frigates and uh, presently we have two Jose Rizal class frigates so Kasakasama ito uh, sa pagpatrolya sa ating mga karagatan, when the ship goes to patrol the West Philippine Sea, kasakasama yung uh, missile system na ito. This demonstrates our improved uh, capabilities to protect our uh, waters, our maritime environment, and uh, we hope that we continue with our modernization program so that we can acquire other capabilities we need to perform our uh, mandate better. Ito lang ang masasabi namin to, uh, to the Filipino people, the Navy is ready to uh, protect uh, our uh, sovereignty as a nation, to secure uh, our islands, our maritime environment, and uh, we give it to our sailors and marines who are out there presently patrolling our seas at handang-handa ang uh, Philippine Navy na tumugon sa anumang uh, contingency sa ating bansa.